Hi guys, it's Ty here from Monster Apps. Today, I wanna show you how to hide specific products from the Shopify recommended section, okay? So this is a section that you can add within most themes. Uh, there isn't a lot of control over what actually is shown in here, but I will show you the different methods to hide specific products um, as the title of this video suggests, okay? Uh, but first of all, why would you wanna hide specific products? Good question. Some products you just don't want customers to have access to or to see in this area. It just doesn't make sense, okay? So a good example for that is shipping protection. Uh, we have a shipping protection app uh, that you can download. It's like $9.99, it adds extra upsells to your cart. So it's this little thing here. Basically it charges a little extra something uh, to the cart based on percentage value of the cart size, okay? Um, but you wanna hide this because you don't want customers to actually enter the product page that has shipping protection in it. You want it to just show up uh, within the cart. But enough about ship protect. There's also other apps as well. So like free gift apps and things like that. You wanna hide the product from people being able to see it in this recommender, it doesn't make sense, okay? But how do you actually do that? Good question. Um, the first thing you wanna do is you want to download Download this app here. It's completely free, Shopify Search and Discovery. Um, type in search up here and it's one of the first apps. It's completely free by Shopify and it gives you a little bit more, um, I guess, uh, customization around the recommender inside of your Shopify store. So you can see it's downloaded here. We're just gonna navigate over to the recommendations section and this is what powers the recommender on your theme, okay? Um, now. Uh, as you can see here, we've already got all of these products with all of these recommended related products in here already, okay? So if I click on this, you can scroll down, you can see all these are being recommended and they're all auto-generated by Shopify's machine learning algorithms, AI system, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Um, so these are all auto-generated. The problem is, is that it's not easy to just hide one, okay? Pretend it's uh, showing shipping protection here and I didn't want it to show. I can't just make it disappear. You have to um, uh, do a few sneaky things to make that work. Now, one thing you can do is just switch away from auto-generated for specific products, okay? Um, however, this is gonna be cumbersome if you have a lot of products on your store. You may wanna use the auto-generated feature. Um, but that's the first way is you can switch off auto-generated and you can go in and manually choose the products that you want to generate uh, for this uh, recommender. Um, that is solution number one, all right? Hide auto-generated products and add products manually. Um, now, this is not gonna work for most stores, as I said. It's a little bit annoying to do, and yeah, you, you're just definitely not gonna wanna do that. However, the second option is a little tricky to do, and this is what most people, I'm guessing, are gonna have to do, okay? Uh, it's a little bit of code. Uh, if you're not sure about this, I definitely recommend getting a professional if you aren't very familiar with coding, but um, you, it's, it's not too tricky, all right? Uh, as long as you follow along uh, with my precautions and doing things Things exactly the way that I'm saying. Hopefully your theme is a normal theme. Some themes are built differently. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this for the Dawn theme, which is pretty much the most popular theme at the moment, okay? So first of all, what you wanna do is go to your theme area here and you are going to make a duplicate, okay? So this is the best practice for editing anything uh, in your theme, okay? So first of all, you make a duplicate, so if something blows up, you can go back, all right? If you're not that uh, familiar with code, you wanna make sure that you've got backups uh, the way that I am doing right now. So it's copying my theme, there we go, it's just added. I'm just gonna do a little refresh just to make sure that it's all ready to go. Uh, there we go, so now it's refreshed. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're going to go on this duplicate. Uh, you can rename it if you want. I'm just gonna go, let's just go copy of Dawn, let's just go Dawn uh, backup. Uh, let's just go Dawn um, re recommender hide. Okay, there we go. Uh, something like that. Put whatever you want. Okay. Um, so we've made a duplicate uh, and while this is kind of all loading and everything, what you want to do is you want to navigate over to your product section and you want to put a tag on the specific product that uh, you were wanting to hide. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. We'll open up a new page and I'll go move over to there right now. Here we go. So this is the product that I'm going to hide. Okay, it's shipping protection. Uh, and the way we do that is we go to this tag section here and we're just going to write hide. And then we're going to go underscore recommender. There we go, so hide, basically hide from recommender, okay? Bang, there we go. So that has been added in as a tag. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here and we're going to open this here, all right? Uh, the new theme that we just created and we're gonna edit the code. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, so you wanna follow along, all right? What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down the side here till you get to sections. This is a folder and you wanna keep scrolling down until you get to, where is it? Related products. 
Alrighty, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to go down to this recommendation section down here. You won't have this space, it'll be closed over. Um, but for me, it's line 37 on the Dawn theme. Uh, on the Dawn theme. However, uh, for you, it might be a little bit different, but you'll see this recommendation in recommendations.products, okay? And then just after that, we're going to enter down and create some space here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the first part of our code, right? Which is this here. I'm going to add this to the footnotes of this video, uh, and you'll be able to do this yourself. Okay, so we just copied and pasted it in here, all right? Um, now, I've got hide recommender here. Um, but you can change this to a different tag, uh, to whatever you've put on your product. Uh, I'm just going to leave it how it is. So hide recommender. Uh, and then what we need to do is have uh, another piece of code that basically closes uh, what we've talked about here, this action, right? You don't need to know a lot about code, but you just need to know that you've got to copy and paste this in this specific spot, uh, making sure that it's after this. And then what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit further and you can see this section here, this LI. Uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's going to have uh, no space under it and we're going to add some space. All right. Uh, and then what we're going to do is copy the rest of this. Okay. And unless we're just going to put that there. All right. Done. And once we're happy with everything, we then click on save. I already have saved this. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is what it's going to look like. You've got the end unless sitting under this section and then we've got the other piece of code that I've given you here and you can change this tag to the tag uh, that you have added uh, to the specific products. Okay, and once that is saved, it's actually going to be working on the demo theme, all right? Now that we've saved the code, what we want to do is we want to check that it's working, okay, in that uh, new, in that duplicate theme, all right, before it goes live. Uh, the way we do that is we navigate over to search and discovery, go back to recommendations, um, and then go in here and just find one uh, that is a good example for you, okay? Um, so first of all, let's just go to um, this one here, so co the Collection Snowboard Hydrogen. All right, and we can see here there are products that are getting auto-generated uh, and that are getting recommended. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose one to hide from this product here. All right, um, so let's just go the multi-location snowboard. All right, we're just going to open that. Uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll find it over here. The multi-location snowboard. Uh, we'll just type it up here. So multi, whoop, multi-location snowboard. All right, there we go. Uh, I believe it was this one. Just to make sure, yep, it's the green one. Okay, and we're just going to add the tag here. So hide underscore recommender. There we go. Click. All right, now the tag is there, and we're just going to click on save. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is now go check the collection snowboard hydrogen on the new theme that we have, all right? Um, so the way we do that is we go to online store, and we go down here, and we click on this button, and we go preview. So now we're previewing this new theme, all right? Um, here we go. Forget this. This is actually just a featured collection. This is not the recommender, all right? So we are going to find the hydrogen board. So collection snowboard hydrogen. I'm going to scroll down. Oh, and you can see here that the product is hidden. We've also got another product that is hidden, which we would have had a tag on as well, okay? But you can see what it's done. It's just, it's removed the products that you don't want customers to have a look at. And we can do that over and over. We can tag this product here and it will be hidden too. So the multi-managed snowboard. Let's just go do that now. Here we go. The multi manage snowboard i'm just going to go in here hide underscore recommender there we go click save all right let's navigate back so this is back to our theme uh, that we're previewing we're going to refresh might have to refresh a few times to make sure that it's all going through properly there we go it might take a little while there we go. Now it's gone. Okay. Uh, you saw that it took a little while for the theme to properly refresh, um, but there you have it. So we've hidden those specific products from the recommenders. Now, all we have to do now uh, to actually go ahead with this is we can set this live. All right. So we click on publish. It now goes live. And then what I like to do is I like to go, okay, so we've now, um, yeah, we've set that one live. Uh, and this was the one that was just added. We're just going to rename it. Um, Dawn without uh, recommender code. So now we've got a little bit of a uh, like a history of what's been happening with saving between the different themes. This is what I like to do. Uh, and there you have it, folks. It is working. So uh, if you go onto the live theme on here, you'll have the products hidden that we have had the tags uh, added to. Cool. Peace out. If you have any questions, add them below. It is a little bit tricky. Um, the next, the other thing you can do is actually contact Shopify, and they can hopefully help you step through this as well. Uh, but I haven't seen too much information or videos around this. This is just one of the ways that we figured out how to do this. Cool.
Peace out. And uh, if you haven't downloaded any monster apps, increase your revenue and give it a go. Woohoo!